Since you clicked on this video, you've probably heard by now that you can make money flying drones, which sounds crazy, right? Well, it's true, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the complete guide to getting certified and show you how to get started today. Over the last few years, I've been able to help over 12,000 students become licensed drone pilots. Throughout that time, I've answered some of the most frequently asked questions surrounding the Part 107 exam. And instead of responding to each of those people individually, which is what I was doing at the time, I took some of the most important topics and organized them into a simple guide that anyone can follow. Let's take a look. If you're new to the industry and thinking about using your drone to make some additional income on the weekends or receive any type of monetary compensation for your drone work, you will need a license. The process is very straightforward. To receive your license, the FAA requires all pilots to first pass an in-person exam, better known as the Part 107 exam. The exam is 60 questions in multiple choice format with three answers to choose from either A, B, or C. Some questions will require you to reference airspace maps and weather charts that are provided during your exam. To pass, you'll need a score of 70% or better. In other words, you must get 42 of the 60 questions correct. And once you pass, the government will issue you a license in the mail, which comes in the form of a physical card. Pretty cool, right? And yes, the license is valid in all 50 states. So you've taken a look at the regulations and you need help passing the Part 107 exam. Let's take a look at what you need to qualify. First, you must be at least 16 years old. You must be able to read, speak, write, and understand English. You must be in physical and mental condition to safely operate a drone. You must pass the initial knowledge exam at an FAA approved testing center. And as always, you must be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Check all the boxes, great. So here's where our guide really starts. Step number one, now that you're familiar with the part 107 exam, we'll dive into the process of registering your drone. So you have to have your drone's registration in your possession with you while flying, and you are required to show it to any federal, state, or law enforcement officer upon request. Each drone registration is only $5, and to do this, you'll want to navigate to the FAA's Drone Zone website. You'll create an account by providing your email and setting up a password, and then you'll register your drone as an individual or a business. Once complete, you'll receive a unique registration number that you can print out and attach to the outside of your drone where it's easily accessible. You're now ready to start studying for the Part 107 exam. Finding an online test prep course is one of the best options for studying at your own speed. Our Part 107 study guide has condensed the topics that are necessary to pass the exam into tiny, manageable video lectures. Using the Altitude University test prep course, our students have been able to breeze through the studying in just a few weeks. With that said, the FAA recommends a minimum of 15 to 20 hours of studying, but everyone learns differently, so take your time while going through this self-paced material. I know you've put that amount of time into a project or a test at some point in your life, and I bet you didn't come out a certified drone pilot. Here's what it comes down to, study, schedule and pass. I've included a free study guide linked in the description that you can use to prepare for the exam and it'll pop up right here if you want to click on it and check it out. You'll be able to watch the videos at your own speed and go back on previous sections to review. The course comes equipped with video lectures for each chapter and the corresponding text below the video that you can use to read along. As you go through the course, we've recently added the option to purchase additional study material that includes flashcards, quizzes for each chapter, and over 250 real FAA practice exam questions. All of this is accessible right from home on your desktop computer or on the go through our mobile app. 
Once you've completed the course, it's time to sign up for IACRA and schedule your exam at an FAA approved testing center. Registering for IACRA will provide you with a unique FAA tracking number that's required before scheduling your exam. You'll write down this number and provide it to the testing center over the phone. Speaking of testing centers, there are over 800 locations in the United States, so chances are there's one down the street at a local airport or testing facility. Just a reminder, the FAA does not require you to fly a drone during this process. They're just testing you on your ability to understand the concepts that are covered in the Part 107 rules and regulations through that written exam. There's a list of approved testing locations inside the course, and while you're searching, it's important to include the name of the exam, which is Unmanned Aircraft General, small UAG, in that drop-down menu. And now that you have your tracking number and you've found a location in your area that you're ready to schedule your exam with, to do it, you'll create an account with PSI and choose a day and a time that works best for your schedule. Now you may be wondering, how much does the exam cost? The testing fee is $170 and that's paid directly to the testing center. You'll do this over the phone or online when you register. It's important to know that if you choose to not use a test prep course and you end up failing the first time, it is another $170 every time you take the exam. But because you're using our online test prep course, you'll be a part of our 99% pass rate. Take the exam at your own speed, and remember, you have two hours to complete it, which is more than enough time. You'll be told right away that you've passed the exam, and the testing center will give you a document with that passing grade and clear instructions on how to apply for and receive your certificate in the mail. With a smile on your face, you can head back to your house after this big accomplishment and finish up the process. Now that you've successfully completed the course, scheduled your exam and passed, you'll need to print out your temporary remote pilot certificate until your permanent one arrives in the mail. The instructions can be found on that sheet that your testing center will give you. You'll use IACRA again to electronically sign and receive an email with your temporary certificate. And during this time, TSA will run a background check to verify your information. When you receive the email, you can print out your temporary certificate until your permanent license card comes in the mail. Your temporary certificate will be a valid form of ID for Part 107 and the process for your card to arrive typically takes anywhere between five to seven weeks. Once your license arrives, your only job is to follow the rules outlined in the Part 107 regulations, and you'll be required to maintain your status every 24 months. Prior to April 2021, you were required to recertify by taking another in-person exam. However, drone pilots who are already certified no longer need to take this recurrent test in person there's now an option to take the exam online through a free online training course put out by the FAA. It's a short 45 question test and the only thing you'll be required to do is maintain your Part 107 status moving forward. So there it is, the ultimate Part 107 certification guide. If you found this video helpful or you have any questions about the process, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll respond to you directly. We'll see you inside the course.